All right, we're live. Hey, welcome back. Uh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Dragon's Breath Creations. Um, what we got before us is a piece of 24 inch by 24 inch birch that I actually burned earlier this morning. If you want to catch the video for that, we live streamed the burning of this piece right here. It's had a few hours to dry in the sun and it is uh, ready to receive its color. I'm going to be using today water-based color dyes and that's pretty much it. And once these are dry, it'll get a coat of polyurethane semi-gloss and either semi-gloss or full gloss. I haven't decided yet. Possibly a full gloss. So anyway, we are just about ready to, to roll. I see people are rolling in. Welcome. Um, Anyway, I've got all my dyes all set up like this. Um, I was having trouble trying to figure out what color scheme I was going to actually go with. So I got to thinking and I just really started feeling the warm uh, yellow, orange, red scheme. And so I think that's the scheme we're going to go with. Um, I got, the, uh, got a little wine, got a little incense going. So uh, let me turn the music back on and just chill. So. Welcome. This is just what we do. We just kind of chill out here and enjoy it. And let's just get her going. All right. There's no really rhyme or reason why I'm doing what I do or how I get started doing what we're doing. So I know that my center, I'm going to go with a little, uh, a much lighter color in the center. So I just kind of get it going in there. Now this color is going to look a whole lot darker now than it will when it's actually dry because it, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's wet so just like when you get any wood wet it looks like it's dark. So since I've never done this live before I'm not sure how all it's going to go because um, I usually will take some time to dry the wood in between colors. You can, already, you can already see the edges that are starting to dry up and they're turning that nice, uh, nice pale yellow. So I'm going to be working all the way from a yellow all the way out to the edge to this dark ultraviolet. And so the edges are going to be very ultraviolet. And we're going to just blend all this together and fade it all together. probably going to take, I'm going to guess, 30 minutes or so. So if you need to get yourself a glass of wine, chill with me. I got mine. So, and that color is going to even be darker than it is right there. It's, um, it's going to be really dark on the edges. But that's kind of, we're going to be going from this, this yellow here all the way out to the really dark color on the outside. May even go with a, a nice dark brown on the edge even. So, let's start working some color in there. I'm doing this I'm just kind of going with the flow there's no no rhyme or reason just feeling it to me that's what art is just it's just feeling it it's not there's no right or wrong it's you know it's what you feel it's your creation it's an extension of you so this is kind of you know it's an extension of me
All right, Ashley, grab your wine. Good to see you out there. really dark right now because uh, it is wet. Like I said, I usually will, I'll break this end up into stages, so I'm not sure how this is going to work live because I usually set it out in the sun or get a, a blower on it because it's hard to see because like right here through the middle it looks dark and it's not going to be dark, it's going to be very light. This is the relaxing part. Other stuff, the burning and stuff, you, there's, it's, you can't mess around with that. You gotta be very, very careful. Definitely no wine time. And it's really freaking hot outside, so it's nice to be able to come inside, relax, and do a little painting. So my last video, the one I did when I was creating this, actually yeah, the one I was creating this, 
Boy, it was great to see people from all over the world, uh, from, from Brazil, Pakistan, Lithuania. I mean, man, it's awesome to have you guys here. That's just, that's just wild. That blows my mind. Um, me, just a little guy here in South Florida, Western Florida. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it blows my mind, you know, technology. Who knew? Start throwing a little red in there. So I decided to go with this color scheme because I believe this is the piece I'm going to put in for the entry to uh, be hung in the Emily Arena for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I got to thinking everything in that arena is blue and, and white and it's like, you know what, if my, my work's going to be on the wall, I want it to stand out. So not to be fitting in with everything else. So, yeah, that's kind of why I went with this color. You kind of see how I'm kind of starting to fade it in. You know, we're going to make it nice and dark on the outside and uh, bring it into the nice warm light in the middle. Taking color, starting to starting to see what I'm wanting to see. What do you guys think? Getting there? Yeah. I wish I could see where everybody was from right now, but I can't. So, hey, sound off. So that's kind of helping it dry a little faster as we go. I'm just using straight water right now just to, just to, just to get some light blending. This thing with, like, with watercolors is just it's real easy to, to mix.
outside edge is darker, but it's usually it has to to dry first before I add. It'll absorb more color, so I might have to use a different technique. a good 
good wine. Guys are awful quiet out there. I can actually see comments this time. It's, it was difficult when I was doing the burning. It's a little bit awkward. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I agree. The purple's still in there. Um, the ultraviolet, it's just, it's an underlying color. I always do the outside when I'm doing this scheme. I do it, I do the purple first. You probably can't see it on the camera, but from a different angle, you can see the ultraviolet in there beyond the brown, and it really looks, it looks really cool. And it's gonna pop even more um, once I get the, uh, the finish on it, the semi-gloss or the gloss. Thanks, Taylor. Appreciate it. Share it. Basically, it. it's just from this point forward, it's just going to be a matter of um, darkening the edges and just blending everything to a nice smooth blend all the way from the, the brown all the way to the yellow in the center. So you just get that warm feeling in the middle and you're just, you're just pulled into it. So that's kind of the direction I'm shooting for. Um, let's see, no, this wine is not from uh, Bunker Hill, which is a good winery, so there's a little plug for Bunker, Bunker Hill Winery. Um, no, this one is an Argentinian wine, uh, Los Andesios. I don't know, it's a good, it's a red wine, very good, very smooth. Yeah, they have those, uh, those wine and painting things everywhere now. Hey, man, I don't need that. I'm good. It'd be fun to do, though, sometimes, just to go, go give it a try.
Thanks, Taylor. I appreciate your comment, man. It's fun. It's just, you know, it's something to do to chill out. I know this isn't like, you know, you get art critics and stuff where your strokes aren't, you know, a certain way and you're using a freaking chip, chip brush. You know what? I do what I do, you know, and I like it and that's what it, and that's it. It's, that's what art is, man. It's just, it's for the soul. So thank you very much, sir. adding some water to it. It's just all part of the blending process. We are getting pretty close to wrapping it up. I did say that this would take about 30 minutes and I uh, get pretty close there. Maybe a little darker on those edges. I like the dark edges. Since the water is saturated, it's not really absorbing any more the, of the water. The, the wood is saturated, uh, it's not really absorbing any more color. So I may have to let it dry and then come back and do another, another coat of the brown. Too many things in life you can say, hey man, there's no right or wrong. So, it's kind of cool. No right or wrong here. I sound like Bob Ross. Happy little trees. No right or wrong. It's happy little trees over here. Okay, now I'm getting silly. It's the wine talking. So I don't know if you can hear or not, hear the music in the background, I like these guys. So I'll do a little plug for another YouTube channel that, uh, that I like, and it's Astral Seeker is the, uh, is the, uh, the channel name, and we're listening to Psych Chill Set number three. So, a little bit of a plug for somebody I subscribe to on YouTube. getting really really close. I think I'm getting close to seeing what I want to see here. And again it's gonna be uh did I really just throw my paintbrush? <laughs> it's gonna be lighter after it dries up a bit. Oh, maybe let's see Taylor. Maybe you could do a special piece for hitting a thousand. You know, I did think about that. Oh, cool. 
Good. I'm glad the music is good. I, you know, I thought about doing like a giveaway or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm glad we can hit a thousand subscribers. That's absolutely right. Thanks for pointing that out. Thank you guys uh, who are out there and subscribing and stuff. Thanks for pointing that out, Taylor. Um, yeah, I thought about doing a giveaway or something like that, but I wasn't really sure how to go about doing it. If you got any suggestions, uh, we could do that. I could do like a live piece and like, you know, we're going to give this piece away to whoever, whoever qualifies for whatever they qualify for. But uh, yeah, I thought about that. So that would be cool. Hey, all right. Kathy, thank you very much. Thank you, Barry. That, that's, that's my sister. And Kay Meyer. Oh, thanks. Is that Kevin Meyer? Is that Kevin? Well, anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate your comments. All right, Kevin. Excellent. He's another. Kevin is one of my uh, Lichtenberg brothers in artwork. Uh, he does fantastic work. So I uh, huge plug for Kevin, man. He's uh, he's one of the guys who actually inspired me to, to to go where I went. So Kevin, thank you very much. So I would encourage you guys to look him up and see some of his work. He's outstanding. Uh, Benjamin Key, I believe. So, uh, yeah, on Facebook. So, yeah, check him out. I think it's great, and uh, like with, with Kevin here and stuff, to see other artists that are that are doing similar work, and we as we spread our wings and we and we begin to do what we do, and you know and we find that inner passion for what we do. So I think it's great, and you know we have a we're part of another group on uh, on Facebook as well, and we follow each other's work, and it's just so neat to see where others are taking this style of artwork and what they're doing with it because it's impressive stuff, and. Uh, yeah, it's just neat. It's just it's great to, to be involved with other artists that are doing similar stuff. Well, I'm I'm digging this. I think uh, I think I'm where I want to be with this. Um, it's got to dry a little bit, so some of the the color is going to dry up, and it's going to become a lighter hue. Again, these are all water-based colors, um, so yeah, easy to, easy to take care of. And then we're like I said, we're going to seal it with a polyurethane. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards a full gloss on this one, um, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, don't really see any need to shoot live video for that. Uh, just spraying varnish on something. But, but uh, follow us on Facebook, and uh, we'll, I'll be posting a picture of the final finished product for what we have here. And uh, I think I'm going to call that a wrap. I like it. Excellent. Cheers to you guys. Uh, love you. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. Uh, share the videos. Tell your friends. You know, and like I said, if, I might do this a weekly thing. I don't know. This is kind of cool to you know, interact with everybody. And uh, we've had people from all over the world within the first day. I mean, I've touched 23 countries uh, or more. I could, I don't know. But so this is fantastic. So thank you guys for watching and uh, keep coming back. Love you guys.